Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes. Today I have a new Cricut product demo and review to share with you. I received the brand new Cricut Easy Press 2. I received this cute little baby for using in my project. It is perfect size for those small projects, perfect for on the go crafting. And if you stay tuned, you'll see a video. And in that video, I show you three projects that I made. I turned some ready-made bags, really cute bags. Please note that if you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below or on the end makes in the corner of that screen. And apparently there's a bell that you can click on and you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. Please note that I am an influencer for Cricut and I am sponsored by them. That is why I have all these beautiful products that I am sharing with you. In the coming video, you can see how I took these plain canvas bags and turned them in these cute canvas bags, as well as the first project I made, turning this ready-made bag into a perfect bag for my new Cricut Easy Press 2. This is the new Cricut Easy Press 2. This one measures six by seven inches and it comes in a beautiful red color. It guarantees iron on success in 60 seconds or less with no guesswork, flawless transfers and lasting results. Besides being a smaller size easy press, what's new about this is that it is supposed to get hotter and heat faster. They say that the Cricut Easy Press 2 in this size is great for baby clothes, hats, napkins, and other pint-sized projects. So yeah, exactly. And today we're going to make a little project with these really cute canvas bags. So this size is perfect for that. I don't have to take out my bigger press for my small projects anymore. As the first Easy Press, it is ceramic coated. It is easy to, to learn, simple to use. Uh, precise temperature control is up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 205 degrees Celsius. It's compatible with major brands of heat transfer materials. Also, today I will be using a Cricut iron-on design that is a type of design that you can purchase online or in your favorite craft store. Here are some pictures of some projects that they show are easy to make with the various easy presses that Cricut makes. When you take your Cricut Easy Press 2 out of the box, it is inside a small canvas bag, just like this one. And here we go. Here's my cute new baby, my Easy Press 2. Isn't it cute? And here's its base. Telling you it's brand brand new. So let's test out my new Cricut Easy Press 2 on these tote packs. Here I have two very small tote bags. And I have some Cricut ready-made iron-on designs that I purchased at Michael's. And this one, the number is 2004980. That's all there is. That's all it says that there is. And here I have an easy press mat that I can work on. And it does say this side down, so I am putting it this side down. Now, according to the instructions on the iron-on design, they say to set the easy press to 340 degrees, which is what I will do. I will place the larger of the two bags here, and maybe you just heard it beep. It means it is ready to be used. I'm just going to put it down like this. 
I am going to choose uh, one of the flower iron-on designs from here to use on the small bag. I think I'm going to go for this one. I'm going to go for the largest one. I'm just cutting it out because I don't need to use the whole sheet on this one project. Now I'm just going to have it ready. Now I'm going to preheat my base, which I will do. Then I will place the iron on design onto the canvas bag, like so. I will set the timer to 50 minutes, 50 seconds, sorry. The instructions say to press down with the heat press on the iron-on design over your base for 50 seconds in each section. Obviously, this is a very small section. I only need to do this once. So ever, I've set it to 50 seconds. I'm pressing down and I am just waiting for it to do its job. I'm just applying a bit of pressure, but I don't think that I really need to apply a lot of pressure in this case. I'm just holding it down. It's recommended to press on the other side as well for 50 seconds. Now we just let it cool for one to two minutes. Let's make another bag. This time I'm going to iron on the design onto a smaller bag so I'll have a coordinating set. Hmm, let's see. I feel like using a smaller version of the same flower. So I just cut out what I need from my design sheet. Put this here. Yep, yeah, that's where it goes. Remember, I have to preheat this for about 15 seconds. So I'm just going to count in my head. Okay. It's nice and warm. It's pretty hot, actually. <laughs> Place the design onto the base, turn on the timer, and press again. Now we flip it over and press on the other side again for 50 seconds. And there we have it. Now we'll let this one cool down for about two minutes. While I was making this little bag, the first bag we made had the time to cool down. So it is time to peel back the lining to see our design. And there it is. It is fully adhered to the canvas bag. There you go. It's full, it is totally adhered to this canvas bag. It is recommended to wait 24 hours before washing this just to make sure that everything
grips nice nice and tight now with my of uh, this easy press too I received a sample so I could test the machine first on this but of course I went ahead and made this project first but anyway let's go back to making the little project that was included with my machine according to the quick start guide it said to plug in and power my press set the temperature to 290 degrees so I'm just going to set it to 290 and to set the timer for 30 seconds now the reason I chose to work a little backwards is only to show you that no matter what temperature you set the easy press at is that it is adjustable. So now we're just waiting for the easy press to lower its temperature for this particular project because I am using a slightly different type of iron on material. So that means that when you purchase an already made iron on design from most brands or you decide to make your own iron on perhaps with Cricut based iron on products read the instructions included with the product so you know what is the best temperature to set each type of product. Now the easy press is ready to be used. It is down to 290 degrees as per the instructions with my quick start guide for my sample. I will preheat the bag for about five seconds as per instructions. I am positioning the Cricut symbol iron on And now I will press my iron-on design to my bag. I'm just going to give it a little test to make sure that it's stuck there. Yeah, it's stuck. So now I'm just going to let this cool down. While this one cools down, let's remove the liner from the second bag. And here we go. Easy peasy. Just like the first bag that I made, the second bag has the design stuck on it. Now don't forget to turn off your machine and unplug after use and let it cool down before storing. What's great about this, this size of Easy Press is that I will get a lot of use out of it, especially since I tend to do a lot of small projects, more like home decorating and all sorts of mixed media projects. So this this is perfect for me. Plus, this I'm more likely to take this with me when I am going to a friend's house, let's say, for a crafting afternoon or something. Uh, yeah, this will be perfect for me. Plus, I love that it's red. <laughs> just waiting for this to completely cool down and it's pretty cool now so I'm just going to go remove the liner here there we go get that off and here we go I'm just removing the liner backing here from the glitter iron-on and voila 
Ta-da! Isn't that beautiful? So this has been my demo of the brand new Cricut Easy Press 2, the 6x7 model. The Cricut Easy Press 2 is the newest product in the Cricut line of Easy Presses. It is available in three different sizes. It is about available like this one in the 6x7. There is a 9x9 and also a 12x12. Now there's a size for every project. Cricut Easy Press and Cricut Easy Press 2. The Cricut Easy Press 2 gets hotter, heats faster, and works magic. I hope you enjoyed watching this video on how I transformed these little canvas bags into these coordinating beauties. It was so quick, was so easy. I hope you give it a try. I would appreciate a thumbs up. Please like, comment, share, and until next time, stay crafty. Bye!